So welcome back guys my name is Amlan and in today's Make Watch Free campaign we go about looking at how we can crop pictures on our Samsung phone using the Samsung photo application itself. Now this may be very handy for older people and people who are pretty new with gadgets. Often times like you know your children may ask you to crop images and you may find it difficult. So here I show you the basic elementary thing on how you can use your Samsung phone itself with its default natively built editor to crop images. First thing you do is locate the image. Mostly the image should be in your gallery if you have saved it. Now first open the image. So it's very important that you will open the image for editing the image. So say I have opened the image. This may be any other image on your phone. Now there are a lot of editing applications but we are using the inbuilt and we call inbuilt apps as native apps. So the inbuilt app itself will have, you see, this certain icons at the bottom. One of which is the pencil icon, the second from the left. I tap on the pencil icon and you will see I have several again options at the bottom. And already I see that there is this uh, grid surrounding the image and I can reposition the grid. So this, ref this thing that I am doing right now is referred to as cropping because I am altering the dimensions of the image. Now you can decide to alter to the dimensions that you are looking at because it's quite possible that you have taken a picture which is showing maybe the background and you want to crop so that you can remove the background side from the image. Or maybe you are scanning a certificate and you have done it over a table, you want to remove the edges of the table so that only the certificate comes in view. Once you have done this, you can tap on save. You can see that there are several other options of tilting, of adding filters and this and that. Presently, I don't want to do all that. I'm just wanting to uh, crop an image and that's what I have done here. And I now tap on save. Now, as soon as I save this, you see the image is ready. Now, if you are doing this for your son or somebody, you would want to use this share icon and you can then share this icon over WhatsApp, over mail. So this thing is then very easily possible. So it's quite useful. I would say like knowing how to crop images and then more importantly, sending to your loved ones. So let's look at the process quickly again. I tap on gallery so that I can first open the image that I want to crop. So once I've located the image that I want to crop, I simply tap on the pencil icon at the bottom left and then I reposition the grid according to the dimensions that I want the image to be cropped to. Once that's done, I tap on save. That's when the image or the cropped image rather gets saved. And then I tap on the share icon so that I can share it with my loved ones or with the person who has been requested, requesting me for the cropped image. Well, guys, I hope that today's tutorial is useful. In case you like this, please consider subscribing. And also, please do share this with your family, friends and especially uh, those people whom you think that this tutorial may be useful for. I remember I had a hard time teaching my elders and also my parents sometime how to crop images. So I thought I will make tutorials which will not only help them but also the entire uh, like elder generation who may find things a little tough but then again we all learnt it some point of our life. Until next time, it's me Amlan signing off.